inspiring me to to go check out more of Ethiopian gameplay. <laughs> Oh, we're actually going Pac-Man. Oh, okay. you lied I, to I was me. a liar. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, honestly, and not too bad of a matchup then. Yeah, because now you have Nero's love to just do so much reflection, and but I mean, both characters are pretty light. So if you're Pac-Man, those uh, Ghost Smash attacks do so much knockback. Yeah, and as long as like you don't respect Pac-Man's face, this is not too bad. But do very space-heavy characters, and oh my god. The Reflector actually coming in clutch there, getting rid of Galaga. We are seeing the Bell immediately going to be grabbing it this time around instead of just tossing it immediately at Cape Block. Ooh. Wow, yeah, that up air surprisingly strong. It's like a whole snake smash attack. Uh, Yuffine actually opting to go for the key fully charged instead of uh, trying to set up like a Galaga or maybe potentially going for a Bell again. But I guess, you know, damage is damage, the knockback is knockback, you'll definitely take it at that point. You know, it's the first time that I've actually seen a Pac-Man really be a boxer type. I mean, I know that he has the boxing gloves, but where, where are the hydrants? Where are the apples? I guess it's a tough situation. Mostly you want to use the hydrants when you're completely above your opponent. Or maybe you want to set up for a cheeky combo with the forward tilt, double forward tilt, and then knock it away. But you can't really use hydrants super well, like you were saying, with the nearest love. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. And right there, I mean, two stocks above in pretty dominating fashion. Oh boy. Got another bell situation. Here yeah, looks, the armor. It looks like K-Flock is pretty comfortable in this matchup. Just look how many sweet spot forward airs and back he's getting. On top of the fact that he's able to grab a bunch of these um, items that the Pac-Man has been able to make. Yeah, and now I am sharing a room here with three K-Flock here, and I, I can tell you, the man is well rested. He slept like 10 hours. He's like, got superpowers today. Ooh, wow. Two minute game, 118% rate. That is definitely going to be getting a KO, even if you have to angle it slightly to the left. K Flock taking an early lead in the set. This is just princess privilege right here. He gets what, like a commoner like Pac Man? That's right. But that's okay. You know what? I'm used to Royals getting their way. But you know what? The proletariat always rises. Mm. Yuffie coming in with the guillotine. No character change, running back on PS2. I don't think it was like a character problem. I don't think it was a stage problem. I think you just need to play a little bit better. It's a matchup check for sure. Yeah. Like, if you do not know how to deal with Zelda, you are going to get like, okay, like, this is what they do. This is like, you know, figure out their gimmick, and then, like, it's a lot more manageable. Yeah. And just as we saw there, can't really give K-Flock any space. Yet, staying away Ooh. from those flash kicks. Crazy grab. Just decide to just push him away a little bit, but let's see what happens with this downer. Gonna go for the near, nothing too crazy. Oh, I'd love the teleport to maybe catch Yuffie um, on the ground instead of the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just a very, very slow game right now. Because once somebody is in, and there we go. That That is Zelda's Achilles heel. If you don't hit that, it's a struggle. Yep. K-Flock has been going for a lot of these night creations really close quarters against Yuffine. And as we see, the Bell into the forward smash, finally taking a KO, and Yuffine able to get the first lead of the set. Yep. And right now, just... Oh. Mm. Just widening this gap. And once again, misses that, and really not going to kill from that far. Oh, the key. Any rage. You see the key? It just disappeared right in front of K-Flock. Yeah. Uh-oh. Right, no down smash. This is the forward air once more. Does have that back air as well, but it comes out just a little bit slower. Orange online decides to reset up the items, goes for the key again, and actually disperses the knight. Woo! It missed Zelda completely, though. I was quite surprised. The watermelon? Oh, no. oh, beautiful stuff. Not only did you get the sweet spot, you also grabbed the item, so now Pac Man <laughs> actually can't <laughs> use the items. You can't like, create anything. This? Where's my items? Where'd it go? <laughs> my fruit, it's gone. He's gonna die I, of scurvy. I need my fruit. Nutrition. Yeah, and K-Flock can just hold on to it constantly and actually just use it as pressure tools against uh, Yuffie's shield. And there we go. You know what? It's actually a lot more even than you think. He just had to get that first stock. Yeah. Okay, but that key. Yeah, free k Flock's just trying to call that out. It's not gonna happen. Yuffie's gonna hold on to that for quite a while. Drop from the platform protection? No? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, risky creek throw. You really wanted to save that potentially for another KO. Obviously, you get it now, but 
that's not always a guarantee. Yeah, and there we go. Higher Fire Hedge and finally coming out, creating oh. some space. It does push away the armor just a little bit, so it's not a bad idea to start pulling that out a lot more. Okay, Pac-Man actually has the Apple online. Tries to throw it away, especially on the higher elevation platform. You might be able to get the KO, but K-Flock just holding that shield just a little bit longer. H have we heard from Apple Reviewer on what kind of Apple that is? Oh, I have no idea. He would know. He I probably know. would know, yeah. And my heart's going to hurt if it's a, a Red Delicious. Mm. Not a fan of those. But I am a fan of Pac-Man's Apple Red here. Deliciouses are awful. They're terrible. I'm not an Apple person, so I can't comment. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I like bananas more. That's fine, that's yeah. fine. We can have apples and bananas. Yeah. Okay, but right now, I don't think Free k Fox is going to get this last stock anytime soon. So will have to rack up this damage. And New Fiend just trying to stay in this game. I mean, one good key, I believe it's fully charged, will just take k Fox's second stock. Try to put the down air, try to get a shield poke maybe, but k Fox had full shield, so surviving a little bit there. You gonna Pushing. throw the key maybe? Nope. Still saving it. Oh, oh no! Hello? Okay, bit of a fumble. It's all hey. right. So it was like teleport, but then didn't snap the ledge, so you know, maybe this character does suck. Well, here's the problem, is that he was a little too low, he thought he was too far to right, that he had to go left, so that's what happened. He just misjudged the spacing there. But we're not going to misjudge that grab. Yep. Great job to Cape Block, able to take game number two with another sweet spot forwarder. Yeah, and Yuffie kind of looking confused here, maybe a little defeated, being like, okay, wh what do I do here? What stage do I take you to? Normally, you would want to stick with PS2 just because this is a great Pac-Man stage. Lots of space, lots of platforms to set up with the Hydra and mm. stuff. But if you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe against another zoner like Zelda that has tools to keep you out, maybe you want something a little bit smaller. Yeah, you probably want to box a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, you see? Like, where did All we go? Right. Ah! Maybe it's just a thumbs up. You know, I, like, yeah, good job, good job, good I, job. I love the animation that you can just cancel and just keep going into the board. Just like, <laughs> I want my item back. All right, but we're going straight back to PS2. He is confident he can take at least one game here. And K-Block is confident he can take one more game to close out this set. Doesn't it's a sweet spot. Tries to get the down air. No neutral B. The key is there, locked and loaded, but so is that forward air. Still not enough. Here comes the... Oh, no. oh you got to be kidding me. Should be fine, right? Final hit? Yep. Oh, yeah. I made sure to count the trampoline uh, connections, and the third one will definitely bring you high enough to get back. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you did. How yeah. terrible at numbers. Yep. Nice key. Throws away the uh, hydrant and destroys the knight, so you don't get a setup and an edge guard on the platform. Yeah, I think Yuffie has finally figured out exactly what the key is used for, and it's to just destroy the knight when it comes out. But uh. just as I say that, Pac-Man destroyed by the knight. Trying to cover that landing there from the ledge. Yeah, and once again, K-Flock holding a solid lead. And Yuffie not really in a position to get a KO just yet. Doesn't have any items even loaded right now, huh? so pretty much having... Oh, is that Yo! the... I that love this game. Sick. I love this game sometimes. I'll never get tired of this game. Oh, the bell? Just going immediately down. I thought it would disappear, but it just constantly travels down. Okay, and right now... what? Wait, 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 what? It oh my god, he almost got the sweet spot from that. It travels through dimensions and space to actually just go through the platforms. I love this game. And F-Smash, yep. Great conversion. All right, and you know what? Pretty even right here. Not too bad. 47% on you, Fiend. And he is fighting his way back. 14%, 23, 32. Has Galaga and just hasn't unleashed it yet. Just holding and trying to make sure you don't get hit by the knight. You know what? Hot take. I enjoyed Galaga more than Pac-Man. Oh, great usage of the Nero's love. Oh, is that a footstool? It was. Whoa. At first, I thought that was a phantom footstool so that... Um, Yuffie would be able to use the up special to get back and maybe get back onto the platform, but I guess that was a raw footstool. It was a raw footstool. He tried to use the side special to get back, but right now, boxing with the princess. Oh, doesn't get the bell in time. I think it's not been charged. And another oh, no. grab. Is, that, is this, this going to be, be it? it? This should be it, yeah. It is. Beautiful. Confirm. Never sleep on Zelda. No, you have to be scared of this character sometimes, especially if your opponent has locked you down. I have a, another best friend who plays Zelda religiously, and well, I shouldn't say religiously, he also plays Aegis, but like, he plays a very like, mind gamey Zelda where it's locking you down, abusing your bad habits, and then doing that, but with K-Flock, 
he was just able to just get these combo conversions and as you saw reading the neutral get up on the left side of the platform getting the spike and then an up special gets a guaranteed ko oh but right now we are going to see guaranteed more zelda in this bracket something i never thought i'd see at a major like dtn but you know what Abizura and Clive are coming up next. Oh, real? Yeah, we're going into losers top six right now. Wait, what? Well, no, we'll lose the top six for like. Oh yeah, for the yeah, pool, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. the pool, for yeah, the pool. Yeah. No, no, no. The same top six, the same top eight. That's for tomorrow. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can give us those. I'm not gonna say no. Nah, I'm not gonna do that to Ubel and Momo. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do that to Ubel. That's <laughs> mean. That's so mean. <laughs> I love them. They understand. Okay, I will be. They make me buy them drinks all night. Okay, I'm gonna be biased again. I'm sorry. Go yeah. New England. Come Let's on, go Clive. New England. Clive, 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 Clive. Go Clive. New England. Go New England. Go New England. Let's go. Let's go. Both woo, of woo. you are great. No bias on my part. Look, someone's got, somebody's got to be neutral here. You cannot. Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got another story. We got Clive showing up. Did lose early in winners. Actually, I oh. think his uh. Round two pools today was to Gaius, actually. Okay. Ended up losing 3-1 right. and has made a pretty solid uh, run through this loser's bracket to make it into the top 24 and I think could be making it out soon. I wanna, I'll Let me check, actually. Yeah, I think it hurts him maybe a little bit, uh, Gaius, to watch somebody he beat make it a little oh. bit further than him. Yeah, so right now, Clive had to beat uh, 